we got a guest set here coming up here. This young lady, she's been doing open mics and killing it. Uh, she is all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Please welcome Caitlin Cooper. restaurant you didn't know it was going to be there but you're also not going to send it back so <laughs> but I'm here. Um, I've been exercising three times a week for four months yes. Woo Thank you. I am the exact same fucking weight as I was four months ago so this is the beginning and the end actually. Um, I, no, I actually went to my doctor to have a discussion about diet you know we've all struggled with this right uh, once I left school, just went to Chicago, all that Chicago pizza went straight to my hips. Started talking to my doctor about diet, and he challenged me to one week with no pasta and no potatoes. And I'm just like, both? You mean both? Like, we have to give up both. Really? So you're saying no baked potatoes, boiled potatoes, french fries, gnocchi, hash browns, latkes, mashed potatoes, potatoes, like gratin potatoes, chips, sweet potato pie. <laughs> Or tater tots? <laughs> and I'll be at the gym, and I'm like, your mind is never where it should be, right? And I'm like, lifting weights, balancing on a BOSU ball, and I'm like, so I'm like, no fettuccine, <laughs> no linguine, no ravioli, I'm on the roller, no rigatoni, no tortellini, spaghetti, all the eenies are gone, out, none of them. I did lie to you. I did actually, this last week, all of a sudden, boom, lost a couple pounds. It went straight to my cat because she is fat as fuck. <laughs> my cat, Oprah. <laughs> she is not the fat one. <laughs> I have three, of course. I look like a person who would have three cats. Um, so, Oprah, <laughs> she, uh, sometimes she likes, likes to lick my earlobes. I'm not going to deny it's weird, but I'm also not going to tell her to stop. <laughs> to be honest, she does it better than 75% of gentlemen callers. <laughs> it's kind of nice to lick my earlobes. She gives me a little kitty massage. And the best part, she sleeps on her side of the fucking bed at the end of the night. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget that I have pets with human names, and I'll be talking to a friend or on the train or whatever, and I'm like, man, Oprah smacked the shit out of Darcy, and Sally threw up in my bedroom. And I don't know if people think I'm a bad mom. I'm like, no, no, I'm just a bad cat mom. <laughs> uh, and like two of them came with their names. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. It came from the shelter with that name. Oprah, yeah, I named that one. She's black. Um, <laughs> I was really torn. This was 12 years ago, so keep in mind my age at the time. I was really torn between Oprah and Whoopi. Uh, you know, it's because she's a strong, independent kitty cat, you know? So, strong, independent, black kitty cat. Um, I'm actually an environmental scientist. I do bird surveys for a living, and I actually you know, can identify a lot of birds. And we have this thing where we really like, get excited about seeing a new species. And I was actually here in Springfield the first time I saw two new species, and I was so excited. Um, the bobolink and the dick sizzle. <laughs> now you may think those are weird names for a bird, but there are also people in this world named Tammy, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll leave you with this. Um, so, as far as birds with funny names, I found out there's like a whole class of birds that are the tits. There's the great tit, the marsh tit, the gray tit, the coal tit. I could just put any word in front of tit and you're going to believe me that it's a bird. <laughs> and my favorite is the great tit. I actually do have tattoos of birds. I'm like, I feel like my next tattoo should be a pair of great tits, so I'm not lying when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> One more time for Kaylin, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I love having new comics on the stage for the first time.